Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue, and today I'm going to show you how to use the uh, perspective control in NX Studio by Nikon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here, and we're actually going to go to Crop, and we're going to pan out of here a little bit, or zoom out a little bit, and we're going to click on Show Cropping Grid. And even though I don't want to crop it, I'm going to, I'm going to move this to the full size of the frame because it will give us this gr nice grid that we can use to line stuff up by. Now, when you straighten stuff or you try to straighten out perspective in a photograph, in any program actually, uh, it's best to work on kind of one variable at a time until you get it correct. It's kind of like if you, you've ever used a 4x5 view camera to kind of correct perspective on uh, an architectural uh, photograph. Uh, you can kind of get everything out of whack if you try to change too much at once. So the first thing I would suggest doing is actually use the straighten tool. You can see here this line right here is not really straight with the grid. And uh, we want to try to get the line straight or straighter at least uh, and uh, and go from there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of st straighten this but you have to really kind of look at both sides because there is a slight uh, perspective shift where the top of this looks a little bit smaller than the bottom it's just very slight so you get it as straight as you can, but if you don't want to really straighten it exactly to one line here if you're going to mess with the perspective because that line's going to straighten out again. So now that we've got that set, we're going to mess with the vertical. Now, this is the vertical control on the perspective control, and I'm going to exaggerate it to show you. We can make it kind of really large at the top or really large at the bottom. So we can really shift it quite a bit but we don't want to really shift it that much so this is this is the let's set it back to the original value on that what we want to do is we want to just kind of slowly tweak it so it looks even on both sides uh, at least as much as possible as close as we can get all right so that looks pretty good I, I We've just tweaked it just slightly, you can see here. We've tweaked the straightening and the uh, the vertical perspective slightly. You may have to go back and forth between those two slightly because as you straighten the vertical, you may, and you finally get a straight line on this, you might have to change the straightening slightly. We also notice that this is at a bit of an angle right here. It's just very slight, but we can actually straighten that bottom line if if we want to. So we we can just to exaggerate it to show you, we can shift it way like that or way over to the other side. And then we set that back to the original value. So it's kind of it's not exactly straight. We can actually straighten that if we want. And it will just take a slight amount, I think, to this side. And that looks pretty good. And then I'm looking again at the uh, vertical perspective. Oh, I, I switched that back inadvertently. I was going to say it's, it looks a little off to me. I switched that back inadvertently because when you shift the uh, perspective control back to uh, original, um, it, it shifts both variables. So you've got to be careful of that on this particular control. So let's just uh, straighten that up a little bit. All right, so now that looks pr pretty straight. Maybe it's just a skosh more. No, that's a little bit too much. And you can do it to um, you can do it to your taste because I mean you may be shooting uh, a photograph and you really want the perspective exaggerated. So that that's a consideration of what you're shooting for. This control really doesn't do extreme ch changes on the perspective control. It, it did. A pretty good range as you saw but 
it's really meant to do just kind of tiny tweaks to get things back into place. Uh, so if something's really, really off, it's not going to be enough uh, adjustment in the perspective control to set it back straight again. But anyway, that's the way you use the perspective control in NX Studio by Nikon. This has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.